Hey everybody, for the past 30 days I've been doing a bit of a self challenge. So I chose six things and I did those six things six days out of the week. So those six things were cold plunge, workout, diet, posting one YouTube video per week, writing for two hours a day, fasting from eight to noon, and then the seventh one day off per week. So I just wanted to go over them on an individual basis and just kind of what it was like for the month. So cold plunging, I was very consistent. Six days a week I did it, and on the seventh day I took a bath. This was kind of my foundation thing. It kept everything together and it kept everything else moving. When I got tired or stressed out during the day, it was I knew it was time to go do my cold plunge, and then it kept me energized and kept my mood up for the rest of the day. So working out, I did 100 push-ups, 100 squats, 50 leg lifts, and 50 sit-ups. <clears throat> so I was consistent with this one, but there were times where I would wake up in the morning and remember that I only did half of them. So then I would do those during the day. I would say this only happened maybe three or four times and every time I did them after. I did a challenge a while back and it was 30 days of doing 100 push-ups and that was actually extremely hard and horrible. Of course, I'm in much better shape now, but even though I added more, I found that that one day off a, a week honestly made such a big difference. And I really enjoyed doing it because I did feel like I uh, noticed a physical change every day and my physique looked a lot better at the end of the month. So diet is probably the thing I failed at the most and that was mainly with the sugar aspect. So what I was focusing on was no white sugar, but there were times where we had things and I had it or it was in something and I didn't really realize it. So that was my weakest point was the white sugar, but it's probably important to say that that was like maybe one slip up a day and it was like an extremely small amount we already pretty much eat paleo and don't really have those things at the house so it was an extremely easy thing to do but my three points were white sugar no white sugar no gluten no dairy i did not do dairy at all after the first week i decided this was just gonna have to be a part of my life because it made such a big change and then no gluten. I didn't, I only had gluten on my cheat days and I didn't notice a difference when I had it. And I would say with the white sugar, I noticed it, but it was nothing like the dairy. So I'm just not gonna be eating dairy from now on. That will just be something that I do. One YouTube video per week, I was extremely consistent on. I posted every single week for the entire month, every single Tuesday. This got me scheduled and it made me feel good to continue to move forward towards something. I wrote two hours a day. This is a passion of mine and it's just something that I do, but there's times where writing for 30 minutes one day and four hours the next day, I wanted it to be a little bit more consistent. I didn't want it to take over my life one day and then not do anything with it the next day. And I also, you know, writer's block and all of that, I didn't want to kind of allow myself to go through that. And so when it was hard, I would research or I would do, I would just work on that writing for the two hours, no matter what. And then this also made it so that YouTube, what I would take as my job, didn't get in the way of my passion, which is the writing. I fasted from eight to 12. I did this very consistently as, and I did my writing consistently too. Every six days I wrote for two hours every day. So fasting from 8 p.m. till noon the next day, I did this every single day no matter what, even when it was extremely hard, like we had family over and they were baking like paleo chocolate muffins for breakfast and it smelled amazing, but I didn't have them. It was enjoyable because 90% of the time I wasn't thinking about the food in the morning and it seemed to have some effect on my weight loss. And then I took one day off per week and I did that extremely consistent. There was one day where I did take Friday night off and I put that through to Saturday night, which wasn't a part of the original plan. And so that was a bit of a fail because I did extend it. Okay, so I wanted to be completely honest on what I actually did and what I didn't. And so that's why I told you how consistent I was or wasn't. And now I just wanna go over maybe like some questions that would help me and maybe someone who was deciding if they wanted to do this. So which one was the easiest to do? That was fasting and that 95% of the time it was extremely easy. But that's because my family also doesn't eat breakfast. So like when we had other family over and they were doing things, it was extremely difficult, but that was only a few days out of the month. So, you know, if you don't have those like little treats out and everywhere, it's 
really after the first few days not a very difficult thing to do the hardest one and the one i failed out the most was the diet and it's because we're already so healthy that it felt like for like maybe like a like small 10 percent gain it was so much more effort willpower and work when if that just wasn't a part of it i may have even had less because it wasn't something that was always on my mind and that was kind of something I thought about. I did get better at the end of making things with monk fruit and like making ice cream and doing different things. And it was only one part, which was the white sugar that I would say that I failed at the most. So, so just these small little snacks that still have white sugar in them and still count as a fail. But I would say that it was a 5% fail, but it was still a fail. If I could only keep doing one of these, which one would it be? It would be cold plunging all the way. And that's because it was the foundation for everything else. And I said this, but it kept me extremely consistent in my other things when it was like, this is too much cold plunge and I felt re-energized. It didn't allow me to go into any sort of darker place or anything like that. Which one will I stop doing? I will probably stop doing the no sugar and no gluten. And again, that's because we don't really have it here. And so it was not worth the effort to like willpower ratio. I would say that if I was going to maybe do one, it would have been alcohol. I drank a few times and I found that it was much worse for me than eating that sugar or eating that gluten. And so I think I will add something to do with alcohol. Which one was the most beneficial? That was the no dairy. And it's now just gonna be a part of my life. I won't be having any dairy anymore. I was already not having everything, but I was still having cheese. And I didn't realize how much that was still affecting me. My fiance has not been having dairy for a long time now. And I finally just decided, you know, it was noticeable like tiredness afterward moodiness and kind of like rashy rashes and stuff that it was just time to try not having it and after the first week i i just knew like there's no way the the feelings were obviously better and what would i add next week and so this one i think in instead of adding like a seventh or an eighth one what i'll do is for the diet i will get rid of the no sugar and no gluten rule but I will add in no alcohol. And so this does not include my one cheat day, of course. And then I will add in toe raises for my workout. I'd like to do 50 a day. And then I will begin making a second video, YouTube video. And so this month I will be posting two YouTube videos every single week until the end of the month when I'll do another, you know, end of the month review and I'll see where I'm going to be going from there. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you enjoy this type of content, please give me a follow. Have a good one.